Hey, this is Yulia and welcome to my channel. Here I talk all things living abroad, moving abroad, studying abroad, and much more. You already know that stuff. I know many of you are moving to Canada this upcoming January, first of all. Congratulations, you did it. If you're not moving to Canada just yet, you might still be interested in watching this video. In this video, I wanna talk about things that you should not do in Canada. People are people, they're all the same. Yes, but if you're moving to another country, to a new country, you need to know about certain rules and regulations in that country. Many of these things are common sense, but for some reason people still forget about them when moving to a new country. I don't know, maybe they're stressed because of the whole moving situation or I don't know what's happening. Don't forget that we are all coming from different countries, cultures and backgrounds. So take this video as a reminder to be a nice human being. Thing number one that you should not do in Canada is call Canadian people Americans. It's literally the same as calling Ukrainians Russians, Portuguese Spanish, you know, it's, it's horrible, super offensive, people get mad, sad. So please don't call Canadians Americans, but also don't compare those countries because they're all different because people sometimes like, oh, Canada, yeah, like in States. No, no, Canada is not States. It's not, I mean, it's close, but it's not the same country. Yes, it's the same continent, but just, just don't. The second thing is don't call indigenous people names, meaning you can call them indigenous people, you can call them aboriginal people, first nations even, but never call them Indians, Eskimos, this is super offensive. I know a lot of people who are still living in Canada and have been there for years, they still don't know the difference between all of these terms. But if you're interested in learning more about indigenous cultures and stuff, I can recommend you Shina Nova. It's not an ad. She's indigenous and she talks a lot about the culture and about these names and terms. So if you want to dive deep into the First Nations culture, please Thing number three is a huge one. The thing that you should not be doing in Canada and it is shit talking. Meaning no controversial topics. Religion, politics, money, genders, physical appearance, private life. If you don't know people, just stay away from these conversations. Because in some cultures it's totally fine to, you know, discuss somebody's weight or appearance or whatsoever. Being like, oh, you look Natasha gained weight after pregnancy. Mm. I don't know, I don't know. In Canada, it is super rude and offensive and people can even report you to HR, to some kind of services. This can be taken as bullying or harassment. So if you don't want to end up in jail or like paying fines, please stay away from these conversations. Keep it to yourself. But if you're talking to your friends and you're 100% sure in these people, you can discuss these topics for sure. Like I can talk to my friends and be like, hey, how much money do you make? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I think I'm not making enough. Like, what's the range? Blah, blah. It's totally fine. But if you're talking to a person you've literally seen two times in your life, I don't think it's a good idea to discuss any of these topics. Thing number four that you shouldn't be doing in Canada is staring at other people. I know in some cultures it's totally fine when you are on the bus and you're like, hmm, what a pretty lady. In Canada, you shouldn't be doing that. First of all, people might get self-conscious. They'd be like, what are you staring at? They might get aggressive, being like, why the hell are you staring at me? What do you want? I'm gonna fight you. Maybe it's gonna be Sergei, but not a Canadian person. But you get the idea. Don't stare at people, but also don't discuss them in your language, because sometimes these people might know the language. Me and my friends had so many situations like that when a girl walks by and my friend's like, what are you laughing at? Turn around and she's like, because it is funny. The whole conversation is in Russian. And my friend is like, okay, it's funny. So please, people do understand your language. Do not stare at people and do not discuss. Thing number five, do not discriminate people. Canada is the country of immigrants. People come from different cultures, countries, they have different beliefs, different genders, orientation, whatsoever. Everyone in Canada is treated equally. So please don't discriminate others based on your personal beliefs. If you think, I don't know, coffee is the best, don't discriminate people who drink tea because tea is also good. Or people who drink orange juice. Maybe you don't like it, but that's not the reason to, you know, be like, ew, orange juice. No discrimination allowed in Canada. Oh, those tea drinkers. Ah. 
But also if you want to say something, unless you're 100% sure what you're going to say, you can say that. Because if there's a slight hint of you being sexist, homophobic, racist, whatsoever, again, you're going to be reported, you're going to be fined, uh, I don't know, sent to jail maybe, depending on what you've said. So please be careful with your words, especially in 21st century. It's very easy to offend someone. Thing number six is very interesting because for some cultures it's totally fine and for others it's like the hell is going on and it is gift given. So let's say in Russia if a doctor performs a surgery the parents of whatever let's say it was a son this guy's parents can come and bring some you know gifts maybe like chocolates maybe like alcohol to the doctor saying thank you. In Canada, if you do something like that, it might be taken as bribing because you're not allowed to give any gifts to anyone. People might be suspended from their works, they might be reported to HR, they might get fired. I mean, they might go to jail again, but depending on the bribe. So if you want to thank someone, just, just don't, you know, bring expensive stuff, blah, blah, blah. But you can always leave tips. As a thank you, let's say you go to a restaurant, you go to a manicure and you really liked your manicure, you can be like, thank you, here's a tip. It's totally fine, but as long as it's not something, you know, super expensive, fancy kind of stuff. The next thing is also super common sense, but people forget about that one. Don't try to change people around you because you are the one who came to their country. But also don't forget to respect your new home. Meaning don't try to, you know, change everyone and everything. You don't come to your friend's place being like, you know what, in my apartment, the sofa stands there. So let's move the, the whole thing around. So it looks like my home. Mm -mm -mm. No, you can't do that. You come to a new country, to a new place. You respect the rules, the regulation. If you don't like it, the door is over there. You can always book flight and then like go home where everything like you used to. There are a lot of differences and similarities, of course, in Canadian culture, in let's say my culture, but you either get used to that stuff, you try and adopt this new habits. For example, birthdays. That's a huge thing for Russian people because in Canada, so if someone invites you for a birthday, they like, okay, you guys come to my birthday, but you all pay for yourself, no gifts. In Russia, a birthday girl, for example, me, I invite my friends, I pay for everything. And then they bring me gifts. So the first time I went to a birthday party in Canada, I was like, I'm paying for myself at your birthday? Like, what's going on? But I wasn't trying to be like, you know, but in Russia we do that, we do this. No, I'm like, okay, this is the procedure in Canada. I can either try and adopt it and be like people here or I can just like keep quiet and go to Russia and then I'll pay for me and my friends for my birthday, you know? And last but not the least, you cannot, you're not allowed to be rude in Canada because people are literally so nice. They will always smile, they will help you if anything happens. Let's say you go to college and you have a problem. You go to students association, you go to international office and people will help you. It doesn't matter what your problem is. They will try their best to help you to solve your problem. I know moving to another country might be stressful. You might get carried away with all these things happening, but please don't forget to smile because you are in this beautiful country called Canada, which is now your home. And I hope you'll enjoy it as much as I did. And this is it for today. I hope the video helped you understand Canadian culture better. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment saying thank you. It helps me and the algorithm. And I'll see you next week. Bye.